Welcome back, everyone. Kremlin Archer here. Time for some more RimWorlds. Our friends of the Boreal Forest. Um, Schneckel has been renamed to James. One of my uh, Patreon patrons. So, we have our friends here. And we're going to continue to march along. Archer and James trying to make their way. Downtown, walking fast. Base is past and I'm homebound. We're, right now the goal is just survive... The winter. Our Borg friend is still here. Hoping that he continues to provide us with uh, lovely meals as time goes on, but we'll see. A little starvation. He's handling it. He's handling it, no problem. We need a research project, but I'm not giving him one right now because we got other issues to deal with. Ooh. Quest? A quest has arrived! D. Dion's Salvation. He's wounded and would like. To, he's wounded and unable to move. Promises to join you if you rescue him. Don't know anything about him. Where is this quest? I'm gonna guess we're not gonna do this. Yeah, that looks, that looks like a long way away. Oh yeah. No, thank you. All right, let's learn. Let's learn stone cutting. Stone cutting seems like something we should probably get working on. What are you making? Are you gonna make another one of these masks? Also, why is nobody wearing the masks? That's... I would have expected them to just put the mask on on their own, but... So far, not so much. Alright, Mr. Warg, are you still on the map? You're here. There's also a grizzly bear, who has killed a caribou. That's a long way away, though. We don't have a lot of... We don't have a lot of options... ...left, so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get grab that anyways. It's just gonna get colder as the winter goes on, so Archer's gonna go grab this caribou. Sorry, Mr. Grizzly Bear, that's ours now. I'm hoping this warg doesn't decide to make one of us a meal. He should still be relatively full. Not much in the way of am food on the map anymore. I had a comment that told me if I wanted to make this cold but still keep it safe from, from the outside world, that I should just make a one-by-one -one room to the side of the here, with a door open and no... Hey, Psychic Sooth. We're rebuilding that. Um, and no roof on this room, so if we need to come in here and put a uh, ignore roof area, uh, remove roof area right there. You need yourself trapped. You're gonna get yourself trapped. It's okay, you're going that way anyways. So now if we hold this door open, it lets the cold air in, but this stuff is all still considered inside, so it won't uh, decay on us. So this is now a refrigerated room. And it is officially winter. Right, I'm just going to make sure we have a couple meals kicking around. Not very many, just just a few. I don't want them to spend all day... I don't want them to overeat, because we got to make it all the way through winter. So let me actually X out all this food. I'm going to start only feeding them, I think, when they get really hungry. Expansion. Expansion will begin. Roof-wise, we're fine. Transport pod crash. Hello, Allie. You are naked. Quick sleeper, fast learner, masochist. Extremely good crafting. Oh, Allie. Why did you have to fall from the sky now? Don't know if we can support you through the winter. I think we have to let Allie die. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, Allie. I'm sorry, but I can't, uh, can't support you. Apparently we failed a quest that I forgot we even had. Hey, these people left us some, some components. That's nice of them. I don't have any of those. Running out of wood. Wood is life. The wood, the wood is life in this environment. That is a, that's a weird looking snowman. Who made you? I wonder if the head the head fell off. This snowman's head has fallen off. Hey, stone cutting's done. All right, let's pause here. Smithing, I guess. No, let's do complex clothing next. So the hunger the hunger is setting in here. So I'm going to unforbid these. Let them both grab a meal. A manhunter pack has arrived. Of. Two bunnies. <laughs> Not exactly the most threatening group of manhunting animals, but uh, what I would like to do 
You haul that out real quick. Oh, you actually, you're the only one who hauls. We're going to uh, mostly just hunker down while we wait for this to be over with. Although there's only one rabbit actually kicking around at this point, so it might not be that that much of a danger. Oh, the grizzly bears are killing some ibex up or No, caribou. Oh, wait, ibex. No, other ibex. Okay. You know what we could use. We have materials for it. The royal game of Ur. More recreation options are always encouraged. Restrict this. Nope, you need to actually cook that. You know what we need to do, actually, is adjust everyone's food situation. They do not eat raw food. Bunny Rabbit has run into our trap and has killed itself, so we are now safe here. So James... James is, is an ascetic, which means that they don't mind having small little rooms. So I'm gonna actually grab our little bit of slate that we have here. And we're going to give James his own little room over here, which should help uh, help them out a little bit by not sharing a space. James is now the proud owner of an actual bedroom. Look at that. Let go, James. All right. Our friends here. What do they have? What do they want? We'll take our short, extra short bows their extra shirt. And I think I will buy um, one of their medicine, which is all we can afford. <laughs> oh, I did not think about the fact that his room was going to get cold. Ooh, royal tribute collector. I have nothing for you, friends, but welcome. Enjoy the chilly boreal forest. Their fancy swords. Look at you and your fancy sword with your bio-coated plasma swords and plus steel axes and chain shotguns and Zeus hammers. Fancy boys. We're now going to construct a uh, stone cutter's table outside because it's a little bit of a messy job. Just something, you know, to work on. Caravan is leaving. It's fine. Lynx is hunting Archer, but Archer will be back inside well before it's a problem. Oh, psychic drone. One of our quests expired. Grizzly bear appears to have gotten into a fight with a cougar. Grizzly bear is not long for this world. Soon there will be both a cougar and a grizzly bear available. It'll allow our people to cross the map for the cougar. Food is an important, precious resource that we don't have enough of. Hey, complex clothing is done. Um, smithing, probably? Never above being a scavenger. So long term, probably actually in the spring, we will start our drug production. Drug production will allow us to make some money. Ultimately, we will likely be trying to leave the planet, but that is a ways off. In the short term, it's all about that money. Money, 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 money. But for now, it's just a matter of surviving the winter. We are halfway through winter. Pretty happy with where our food's at. It, help, it helps to have a number of predators on the map that are willing to, uh, to kill for us. This grizzly bear did bite off a little bit more than it can chew. But now will be something that we can chew on. All right, among the things that need produ production now, we can remove our crafting spot, replace it with a hand tailoring bench. The lynx is on us again. As soon as we're inside, we'll be fine. That'll be fun. Forced weather for pay, you say? You want to give us foggy rain for 5.5 days. I mean, it's already winter. Foggy rain, how, work, how much worse can that be, eh? Huh? Let's go ahead and take it for this. Forced weather has begun, and our pods are here. So now, an already unpleasant winter is now even more unpleasant. <laughs> Shorty from the Finna League has arrived, looking to fight. They're slowpoke, they're jealous, they're pretty. Actually, a pretty good character, aside from the jealousness. Shorty, I'm afraid. This probably won't end well for you. Hey, don't. Don't, don't do that. 
I just built that, you jerk. All right, Shorty has been dealt with. James has only minor injuries. We'll be fine. We got some medicine out of the deal. Grizzly side out here on the rim. This wild boar has been killed, I assume, by the warg. And now three of his compatriots are consuming him. <laughs> no room for sentimentality out here. How are you guys doing? Still friends? Still friends? What were we chatting about recently? Friendly fortune tellers and botch surgeries. You never know what makes people happy. I think the worst... The worst part of the winter, I believe, is over. More animals seem to be entering back onto campus with... Onto, uh, the map. Which makes me think that the worst of the winter is done. Try and expand the storage area by a little bit. I'm feeling good about our food. I was was really worried about whether or not we would be able to make it through the manhunting pack of rats, eh? Is that literally just looks like three rats? So yes, I'm excited about our burgeoning drug empire, which will occur in the spring. Alright, yeah, they're gonna waste they're gonna waste our traps here eventually. There you go. Now there's just one left. James, this seems like a this seems like a you job. You can just hit a rat in the head with a club, right? Thunk. Yeah, there you go. Did you get bit? No, just a crack. You're fine. Roger is patting his boo-boo and saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got cracked by the mean old rat. James is very excited about his awful bedroom. It's good for his self-esteem, I guess. Another strangely head askew snowman has been created. Or maybe they're breeding. Cats and the and BB is this. Twenty year old fearful chef named BB is calling nearby. She says a pack of two manhunting cats are hunting her. I'm tempted to do this just because manhunting cats are not exactly dangerous. And I'm pretty sure our food is stabilized enough that we'll make it through the winter without too much trouble. The fact that I don't know what you you're a fearful chef. Welcome aboard, BB. Let's see if this was a terrible idea or not. Psychically sensitive teetotaler cannibal can't do a ton of things. Wow, this was a bad choice. Right, you know what, BB? You just stand right there. Fight your battles when your main hunting cats show up. See how you do against the main hunting cats. Well, you won't, you won't do violent, will you? Nope, doesn't do violent. Alright, sorry, BB. You know what, BB? Can you, uh... Take your shirt off while you're <laughs> while you're being eaten to death. Sorry, dude. It was a risk I took. Turned out to be a bad one. We're gonna get debuffs for uh, one of our colonists being killed. Links is hunting BB. Oh no. It's alright, BB. <laughs> so that should give everybody a debuff, I imagine, right? Colonist died, yes. Hey, smithing is done. Alright, welcome aboard smithing. Alright, where do we want to go next? We can start working on our drug production since drugs are gonna be the backbone of our economy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. It'd be very important to get some drugs going. We just decided that Archer is going to make a nice meal. Archer, can you get inside, please? The story of this episode is when animals attack. A chunk of spacecraft has arrived. Two chunks, actually. Pretty close, too. You don't really need to focus on those right away, though. They can wait for now. We have no particular need for the components out of them. BB's corpse has now been consumed. Do we get the unburied debuff? No. There's a colonist left unburied debuff that you get occasionally, but it's not appear to be something we have to deal with. Get back inside, Archer. Grizzly Bear's on his way. Going through somewhere else now. Oh no. Food poisoning. Archer must stop and barf along the way. 
A wanderer has joined. Reindeer. Hello, reindeer. Do I care about you is the question. Chemical interest. Hmm. Sorry. Uh. Sorry, reindeer. Chemical interest is not an acceptable trait in this colony. Come here and remove your clothing and await your inevitable end. James has been having inside cabin fever issues. So we're just going to make him stand outside for a few minutes. While his debuff goes away. Reindeer has begun working for us. Oh, reindeer, you sweet summer child. You're not a bad character, but uh, chemical interest is, is one of the few non-negotiable traits in this colony. I'm getting a fight with a grizzly bear. <laughs> See how well this works out for you. Oh, I didn't think this through all the way. Now everybody else has to stay inside as well, because this grizzly bear has gone manhunter. Didn't think that one through all the way. Weather changing is over. As soon as this grizzly bear gets to the point where it has to go to sleep, the uh, the manhunting will cease. Um, let's get, since we have our snap trap over here, let's see if we can get the, the grizzly bear to come around. There we go. Yes, there you go. So now eventually, he'll walk through the snap, tra snap trap and at least get somewhat hurt. Reindeer has died. Collins died times two. Can't just give me people, Randy. They have to be the right kind of people. Alright, the grizzly bear has gone to sleep, which means the manhunting phase is over. So we should be able to get out here now and dig this grave and bury our friend. Or not friend, but the guy who was here for a few minutes and left us his clothes and his knife. <laughs> Completely voluntarily. Lynx has died. I assume at the hands of the warg. The jaws of the warg? It appears so. That nasty, nasty warg. More meat. Hey, a spring has sprung. We have finally reached it. The planet has shifted around yet again. New life will be upon us. Eventually. It's going to take a little while to warm up. But I look forward to uh, replanting our fields. Probably take advantage of the other bit of uh, fertile soil that exists over in this general vicinity. We now have enough blocks that we should be able to actually start building a proper home. Other than living in this little sealed-in canyon. Grizzly bear is hunting Archer, but... Oh, no. I thought Archer was coming back inside, but he was not. Away with you, Mr. Bear. James has hit a work frenzy, so he should be researching at extra extra fast speed. Which is still pretty slow because, you know, <laughs> we're at tribal speeds. Makes things very slow. Is our warg left? Oh, our warg left. So sad. So much for our easy source of free meat. Starting to see a little bit of a change in the ground. As winter's hold on us starts to break. We'll actually just go straight across here. Boom. Like so. Placing a door there. We'll see what we can do about using this. Now using the bit of wall that is part of the ancient danger is probably not the best. Best usage? It's a little dangerous, but I think we'll be okay. Drug production is finished. Let's go straight into Psychite Refining. Which is the crop I have chosen. Usually pretty good. If you're not familiar with my my base construction, it tends to be fairly organic and not uh, not super ordered. So prepare yourself. This new area here. Ideally, I would love to remove this whole bit. I don't know if we'll be able to get away with not hitting into overhead mountain there. I think we'll probably be okay, but we will see. This actually provides an extra step of providing more insulation here. There's an air gap. Starting to be able to see the texture on the ground. Oh, we're above freezing outside. That's good. His archer's skills coming along. He's getting up there. This little bit of passion for everything is, you know, allowing him to move up the up the chain. A raid has arrived. Hello. Trust Galuga. Ascetic jogger. Not a bad character. We can get you without dying. Let's see. Aha, the assault has begun. Come here, folks. Reverse that, please. 
Here he comes. Mr. Man whose name I can't pronounce. Shot on a whiz. We got a hit. And he's down. Okay. High five. I'd kind of wanted to take him alive, but it does not appear to be the case. All right, and as spring starts to spread across the rim, we're going to leave this group right here for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll be a good time. I am, as always, the Crummy Lone Archer. Um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.